It was a sun-kissed afternoon at Ainsley Park on Saturday, but with a classic Scottish chill that ensured both home and away fans were well wrapped up. Even this fluffy mascot came in a t-shirt, thus proving he was no mug. It was second place Edinburgh versus third place Clyde in an end of the season top of the table clash which saw one of the biggest crowds of the season descend upon the stadium. And the ECFC choir was in full voice from the get-go. Leading scorer Blair Henderson imposed his physicality upon the match, but not always within the laws of the game. Clyde started strongly in the middle of the park, so it was left for Edinburgh to muster the odd half chance cutting him from wide. But Clyde had their own threat from the wing in Tom Lang, whether intentionally or otherwise. And Ray Grant was especially impressive with the range of passing from just in front of the back four. Though on the one occasion David Goodwillie's inability to latch onto these led to a fairly barbaric outburst against an innocent corner flag. Edinburgh started the second half with greater intensity and were immediately rewarded. Barry Cuddy's clumsy tackle fell in Danny Galbraith for a penalty, which Blair Henderson rather predictably took to air. This brought to life Edinburgh's youthful fan base, even if attempts to smuggle the drum into the stand were halted by an eagle-eyed steward. Clyde pressed and, after Goodwillie struck the post, substitute Ali Love had two attempts to eventually draw the bully level with ten minutes to spare. And there was time for another. Conrad Balatoni was barged over in the build-up, but as the ref signal play on, Christopher Sivertson took away Clyde's second. Edinburgh had a golden opportunity for an equaliser, but the ball inexplicably missed everyone. With much to reflect upon from rival managers. Yeah, I thought we started the second half really well. Obviously, we got the penalty uh, quite quickly. But I thought we were on the front foot, and you know. Looked likely after that, but as the game went on, we dropped further back and allowed them to come into the game, and they finished the game stronger than us. I thought that was a big factor in the game. I thought the way the middle of the pitch, I thought, you know, they've got good movement, they're good at what they do, um, and I thought when we were on top, we, we combated that well, um, and when they were on top, we didn't have a grip of that area. I'd want to take one nothing up and conceding two goals in the last ten minutes. Um, very disappointing, so we need to pick ourselves up and go again next week. I told them it wasn't, a, it wasn't a good enough, it's not acceptable. Dropped off the game and allowed them to come into the game and never done enough to, to win the game. We'll prepare as we always do, we'll try and lift them on Tuesday and we need to work hard at training and fix a lot of things in the play that's crept in and uh, try and get back on track next week. Edinburgh travelled to second bottom Albion Rovers on Saturday, hoping to halt a run of two straight league defeats. Ian McNally for That's TV Edinburgh at Ainsley Park.